So I guess we're live. Awesome. Yeah. You can't really see our faces here. This is our first official-ish periscope. There we go. So anyway, we've got, um, <clears throat> this is Corey and Tanya from photographingspace.com. Hey, that's a good idea. We will do that. We'll tilt it down. Check it out. Hopefully you can hear us. We got a new um, astrophotography mount, a, a travel astrophotography mount. Um, we had to order it from Germany. I was recently in the United States on a trip, and uh, I shipped this from Germany from Telescope. What's it called? I don't right. remember. A telescope company in Germany. I forgot what they're called, but I'm going to tweet about them because they're amazing. Anyway, this mount is like ridiculously awesome, or it seems to be. We haven't even used it yet, but I'm just going to open so it up. The unboxing. Yeah, kind of the unboxing. Well, I haven't seen it yet. He's checked it out from the start. Yeah, I'm going to show some stuff here. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to put it on. Cool thing about this mount. Is you don't need a big, um, you don't need a big telescope mount. You can just use normal tripod. You can just use normal tripod. But this is my. Um, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we're just putting it on a normal Manfrotto um, heavy duty tripod, a 055X Pro B tripod. But any tripod. Can do. Yeah, any tripod will really do, and that's the whole point. So it travels easily. So um, you can unscrew the ball head. To make it down just to the three eighths of an inch connection there. Put that off to the side. And the one thing that she didn't know about um, that I bought as well on Amazon, I got something called a leveling head. Now this thing is awesome because it's got a little level built in, and it you loosen it like so, and you can adjust the levelness. Oh. A very low profile, which is really good for this mount because you want it to be right. you want it to be nice and level. And I mean, it's obviously it's, it's going to be difficult if you have to adjust here the whole time your um, yeah. you know to be level. Okay, so that's so this is a lot right. easier. Yeah. So basically, that just screws on, and then you've got this thing uh, that we, we're going to put the mount on. So you know that that's on there. You don't need to worry about the tripod being level when you touch the mount. Um, Got some instruction manuals. Which may never read. Don't need this box thing. I'm going to use for later. So, um, oh, that's good. yeah, what you get in the box is uh, this is the one from Germany. So it, it's red and black. And the cool part about this is this is all metal. It's a Skywatcher Star Adventurer. It's metal. I, I mean, can I actually have a look at it for? Yes. <laughs> Okay, cool. It's kind of it's got a lot of weight to it, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's all metal. Mm -hmm. Except for the battery cover, which it takes four AA batteries, which I'm not going to use because I'm going to show you another trick about how to power this thing. Okay, but just hang on. Mm -hmm. With four AA's, how long do they stay? Just the last. I don't even remember. It was somewhere in the, in the 20 hours or so. Okay, but definitely yeah. one last imaging you'll get through with. Yeah, so it's got this, this pretty heavy duty uh, locking mechanism, just like any normal telescope mount um, does. Another thing that we're not going to use here in the southern hemisphere that anybody in the north will use, um, it's got a built in polar scope, like so, um, that you can use to, you can use it in the south, but it's uh, difficult to use in the southern hemisphere. It's more of a northern. Um, our our um, star that's Close to this pole. It's very, very dim. So if you're in a very dark sky, you can spot it, but you know, it's not as bright as blocks at all. Yeah. It also comes with uh, this little mount um, for the. You go in here just to go directly to a ball head adapter or another kind of mount, which we're not going to use because we got the astrophotography package, which is well, photographingspace.com. So go to photographingspace.com and you know maybe we'll do something about this. So basically, normally what you do is you put that in there, but then there's no way to uh, pull their line of So what also came in the astrophotography package for this, which again you cannot get in the United States. Don't know why. So order it from Germany. Um, but, okay, so you get it in Australia. But shipping. Okay, so you were, you ordered it to ship to the US. How long did it take it from Germany? Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. From the telescope express certificate. Anyway, um, so one thing that I purchased with this that came with this 
is a wedge, which anybody who's done any astrophotography is going to know that this is a little bit important. So it's also got a little latitude adjustment, so you can tell. I know we're about, what are we, what are we, 32-ish 30, here in South Africa. So I'm going to set it to around that. And then it's got a locking mechanism to lock that in place, so it's not going anywhere. And it's got the azimuth adjustment knobs as well for pulling it. So put that on. Okay, so this is this would have gone straight onto this. Um, had we not had the leveling. Yeah. Okay. So you don't you don't need the leveling. You don't need the leveling. Okay, but it's going to make it. But then it's nice easier. because okay. check this out. Okay, now. Oh I've yes. Got, now I've got a can... bubble level on the wedge and on the leveling head. So we we don't actually have to adjust. The so those two leg. those two bubble levels we don't need to touch the tripod legs make this thing. In the field, what we do is we weigh this down anyway with some rocks or something. So, tighten that up once we know it's level. Which is not that important right now because we're not actually shooting with it. We're going to unscrew the rocking. Also came with an astrophotography kit. Came with this nifty, nifty little thing, which is going to give us declination adjustment with this screw. It is a very cute little baby wedge upside down from where you're right. I can see you. It's got a locking, a locking mode so you can easily move the declination adjustment with that or once you lock it, find adjustment with this knob. Works pretty well. Uh, the other thing that came with in this package which is very important is the counterweight kit. So, obviously, you're going to need that kind of thing when you put a decent sized lens on it, especially for guiding, because not fine, it's, not it's got an auto guider port. This is why we purchased this particular mount, because we want to auto guide. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, okay, so, so white view, we'll still do um, exposures with our uh, CCD, so we're going to look for like 10 minutes. Yeah, we'd like to do 10 minutes exposure for CCD. And recently we did a Bernard's um, loop and yep. uh, the HA channels for 10, 10 minutes, and now we'll show it 24 minutes. Yeah, so for a lot of the stuff we do when, when we travel on a plane, we don't want to bring the whole telescope kit. We don't want to bring everything. We just want to bring it to CCD. It's heavy and expensive. Yeah, it's expensive to travel that way. So, so this counterweight kit just screws in. It's almost like a it's almost like a little Vixen um, wedge, but not quite the same. It might actually be compatible. I don't know yet. We'll double check. We'll it check that and later. Blog about it. I, I think we're going to do a full review and blog yeah. about this, and this is so going to be in our next adventure, our next uh, every new adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Still don't know where, but we're traveling. Okay. So then there's this other little piece. It goes on to the bottom of this. To slide in to the wedge, and it's got a locking bolt on that, so really you can put it together really quickly with just your fingers. So you kind of tighten it up there, and then this is a little guy. This little screw that fits into an index here, and then we we'll put that in there, tighten that up. I think it's awesome. It is very awesome. It's like a micro paramount. One of our friends uh, suggested he called his the uh, Paramount Nano. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, whoever said some uh, some of that stuff is, you know, they're uh, very immature. Very immature. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Like this. And that. We're going to put that there. So then, without turning the motor on, you can balance. Do that. Okay. And then this ring here locks it. And so that would lock it in place. The idea of that. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Now, camera. I'm going to put a 5D Mark III, Canon 5D Mark III. 
with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Okay. And now, uh, I just screw them right here. This. Which you can't see now. So I'm going to move this up. Turn this little knob here for declination adjustments. Um, and then balance it. See, it's, it's going to fall because the camera is so heavy. So we need to adjust the counterweight a little bit. So it fall. A little bit more. Like so. And a little more. This thing is heavy. What's the thing uh, the payload, I think it's Viva. 5 kilograms. The other thing is, you can just it there. There we go. That's okay. much better. So now we've got more leverage to work with. Here. Okay, we'll get more back. Anyway, I'm being too picky, but this is how you got to be in the field. Right there. there. So now, uh, the way this works is it will only track in, in RA. It will only track in RA. But um, that's fine because the declination adjustment that you can do. Um, do that. Let's set the RA where we want it for fun. Say we found our target, that's our target. Cool. And then all you do is oh, it's got a north south switch. North south switch here. It's got a speed adjustment here, and then yeah. then we well okay. This is the other cool thing about this. Normally, it would take double A batteries, four double A batteries what we're going to do instead. Um, it, it's, powered, it's powered by five volts. So we're gonna use a five volt USB charging supply. This thing will last a long time. A lot longer than the, the AA batteries will. So we just plug that into the USB with a standard USB cable. And that's it, it's, it's on. Believe it or not, there's this, the dial. Where you set it, it's got a star mode, it's got solar tracking, lunar tracking, 0.5x, 2x, 6x, 12x, and then off. So if we want to track in star mode, we just switch it over to star, set it, lock it, and now it is tracking, and that's, that's it, that's all there is to it. So, uh, then you just polar line the thing. So basically polar lining, if you're in the north, you can just use polar, it's a lot easier. And this will be Which would, yeah. if you use this, you can take off that cover. And then um, in the south, we'll point it as, as well as we can to the south. And then what we'll do is we'll use PHD and a guide scope to do that. And then um, that's it. So there you go. That's all there is to it. It's our, uh, our new travel mount. Hopefully we'll have um, hopefully we'll have some images of this that we'll take on our next every new moon trip. So check out uh, photographingspace.com and uh, we'll talk about it. We'll blog about it a little bit. We'll uh, maybe do a little tutorial or how to. I know one of our our users, our readers, has emailed me about that uh, this particular mount, and that's what made me think about it, so that's where we got it. So hopefully we can check it out. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers.